Mercury is set to ingress into the sign of Scorpio the Scorpion on the 2nd of November. And on the 3rd of November, we have a last quarter moon. That's a waning moon, a quarter moon, last quarter moon in the sign of Leo the Lion. Now, let's see how your planetary angels and the zodiac angels are going to affect you this week. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your planetary angels and your zodiac archangels as well. We're going to go over how the two most important events of this week are going to affect you. This is for the week of November 1st through November 7th of 2015. And we're going to go through the important events first, and then we'll get into your specific sign and your specific zodiac angels and what house you will be affected in, which one of your houses you will be most affected by the Mercury Ingress Scorpio event. And Mercury is direct, and it's direct currently and through the month of November. Okay, so to get started, on the second, again, we have Mercury Ingress Scorpio. And again, Mercury is direct as it travels to the sign of Scorpio to Scorpio. And what it will do is it will cause the intelligence to enable communications to be clarified, and it will allow the promotion and the uh, sort of the rise to the surface of things that have previously been in the shadows, things that have been hidden, things that, that have been in the shadows, will be brought to the surface, but in an intelligent manner. So this won't be something that's done in a way that is without any thought put into it. And even if someone might have a, an evil intent, intelligence always makes things better. And that's because the emotions may be hurt, but as the intelligence is utilized, then the emotions are assaged or they're made to feel better. And then people's intent becomes benevolent. That's what you'll find going on beginning the 2nd of November with this Mercury Direct. It's Mercury Direct. It's already direct, but it's being direct. It will ingress the sign of Scorpio, the Scorpion. The last quarter moon in Leo the Lion is, of course, a waning moon. This last quarter waning moon in Leo decreases the reflected light that illuminates getting to the heart of important matters with the energies of destruction that can be used for good or evil. So basically, this moon will be something that can be utilized for destruction. However, as you know, any, anything can be used for good or evil. You use something with pinpointed precision, it becomes uh, something that can be beneficial. If you are using destructive powers in a way that is not so disciplined, it can become it can become something that is not beneficial and is harmful no matter what you're doing. So this is going to be very important. So again, intelligence brings benevolence where lack of intelligence causes things to not uh, be benevolent because it creates difficult emotions. When people are hurt, that's what causes difficulty. And that's what causes things to go in a manner that you don't want them to go. So using intelligence will clarify why someone may have done something. And then when you know why someone may have done something, and you understand that perhaps the other person didn't mean to hurt or they were doing the best they could or they were trying to help or whatever, then the intelligence of that knowledge causes benevolence and the entire system becomes healthy. All right? So that's the last quarter moon in Leo and how to keep that benevolent. Okay, now we're going to get into the 
guardian angels that you would be calling on, the planetary angels, planetary archangels, and the zodiac angels as well. We have, again, on the 2nd of November, we have the Mercury, the planet Mercury, which is the archangel Raphael, uh, revealing the good and the evil, which we just mentioned, via intelligence to the inhabitants of the realm of Scorpio or the zodiac angel Barchiel. And again, we have on the third, the last quarter moon, that would be Apollyon. That's the angel of destruction of the last quarter moon who was unleashed out of the abyss to bring destruction through the realm of Leo or Virchiel. So again, this destructive force can be used for benevolence when intelligence is used. Because once you understand the benevolent intent, then all is healed. That's all it has. And that takes an enormous amount of intelligence. Because when one perceives malevolent intent, one is not using all of their intelligence. When one perceives benevolent intent, they are, they are utilizing all their intelligence. And there's always more intelligence, but just try to keep it high-minded, and this could be very beneficial for everyone. Okay? Now, as we get to the uh, portion of this transmission where we get into uh, the evocations that you can utilize, we're going to put a description in the description box so uh, you can uh, link to the Angel Magic blog and you can go there and you can uh, find even more information uh, than we're going to give you. Right now we're just going to give you for the Mercury in Scorpio and for that invocation and also that's what we're going to give you for the Zodiac Angels for each individual sign. Okay, uh, But we'll give you also the evocation for the last quarter moon in Leo on the block, okay? So you can check that out. All right, now regarding the Mercury in Scorpio uh, ingress on the second, we have Mercury, that's the Archangel Raphael, and that's the savior planet, and the incense is clove, and the uh, gem you can use is yellow topaz. The Hebrew letter is Bet, and it's Romans 16:14. That's Romans 16:14 for the biblical correspondence, and that's the New Testament. For the zodiac angel correspondences, we have the sign of Scorpio. We have the zodiac angel Barchiel. We have the incense or the herb of ginger. We have the gem of citrine. The Hebrew letter Nun, and the New Testament biblical correspondence would be John uh, 3 14 that's John chapter 3 verse 14 okay now to get into the zodiac angels you can with this evocation you can utilize your zodiac angel uh, those correspondences as well we're going to give you correspondences that will relate to which house you should utilize and you can check out our zodiac angel magic blog so and website so you can see exactly what to do for these houses okay okay for aries the sign of aries the ram the zodiac angel is machida el the message is that the mercury ingress scorpio you need to bring intelligence into the eighth house of birth sex, death, and death. So these are important and intense issues for you, Aries, with this event. So you're going to want to bring intelligence into these areas of your life that are extremely important and intense. Okay? For the sign of Taurus, sign of Taurus the bull, the zodiac angel is Asmodel. And the Mercury in Scorpio, Mercury ingress, the sign of Scorpio event. This is going to affect your seventh house of law and commitment. 
and you, that means you want to bring intelligence into exactly who and what you're committing to and what the, uh, you want to read the uh, fine print and you want to bring as much intelligence to that as you can because with Mercury Direct you're going to be urged to sign on the dotted line. So you're going to want to make sure you're seeing everything that you need to see when you're looking at documents, when you're looking at commitments, you're going to have to know everything that's going on. And everybody's going to be doing that, so everybody's going to be very careful. Remember, we still have, uh, until November 8th, a stellium in Virgo. So everybody's being very much uh, perfectionistic, if that's the word, too much perfectionism going on, so everybody just remain calm until after the 8th. For the sign of Gemini, the twins, we have the zodiac angel Ombriel, and that's Mercury, Ingress, Scorpio. We want to bring intelligence into all the secret dark places in the sixth house of habits and health. So people want to really, you know, look at the ingredients of anything you may be consuming. But more importantly than anything you're consuming, you want to look very clearly at the emotions that you're allowing through whatever body postures you're, you're you know, whatever pose you're striking. You want to find out how to change your emotion by changing what you're doing with your body you know, whether you're smiling or not, and how you're smiling, and how you're holding your body, those kind of things. And what hormones are being released by your body posture, and this is what you're doing most of the time. You know, so you want to, again, you don't want to become paranoid during the stellium in Virgo. All right? And you can check out our video on the stellium in Virgo. It's uh, very important right now. For the sign of Cancer, the crab, we have the zodiac angel Muriel. And for the Zodiac Angel Muriel and the caveat for the Mercury Ingress Scorpio, you want to bring intelligence into your fifth house of your children and your creativity and the way your children are expressing themselves creatively. Are they expressing themselves creatively in a way that makes them feel benevolent? That's going to be very important for how your fifth house of creativity can be intelligent and you can get benevolent rewards regarding your children and their creativity and your creativity and their children's children. For the sign of Leo the Lion, the zodiac angel Virtio, with the Mercury Ingress Scorpio, the fourth house, you need Leo to bring intelligence into your fourth house of your home and your family. So basically this is just shine the light of intelligence on you know whatever kind of dark places and secret places are going on with home and family. And this doesn't mean that you want to search with a microscope or a magnifying glass that you want to search for necessarily something bad but you just want to understand people's deeper reasons, people's deeper secrets, their deeper hurts, and bring the light of intelligence and benevolence to that and bring a great healing to your home and your family. For the sign of Virgo, the Virgin, Zodiac Angel Hamaliel, with the Mercury Ingress Scorpio event, the, this is going to uh, you're going to want to bring intelligence into your third house of transportation and communication. So the way you communicate with others and the way you communicate while you're uh, perhaps, like say you're driving a car or flying a plane for that matter, not a good time to talk not a good time to argue. So if you find you're arguing a lot, be, you know, during transportation or, you know, when those two things combine, maybe not such a good idea. Maybe 
quiet, peace and quiet when people are driving or uh, when people are flying planes or working heavy machinery, but, you know, machinery, quiet and peace rather than people chattering and, and multitasking during this type of trans, you know, transporting things. Probably better to not make people nervous, but especially with a sun in Virgo. Duh. Okay, for the sign of Libra, the scales. For the zodiac angel Zuriel, during the Mercury Ingress Scorpio event, on the uh, which begins on the second, you're going to want to uh, bring intelligence into your second house of money and possessions. So money, how you're handling your money, how you're handling your possessions, how you're handling uh, just your basic uh, security issues, your investments, your businesses finances, things like that. For the sign of Scorpio, the Scorpion, Zodiac Angel Bartio, with the Mercury Ingress Scorpio, this is going to bring intelligence into your first house of yourself and your appearances. So basically, this will force you to want to bring more intelligence into the aspects of how you're presenting yourself and how you're appearing to others and what you you know what you're doing for yourself and bring it about in a benevolent manner so that you can have the best outcome in this very important aspect of yourself and how you uh, how you appear to others which doesn't really bother you too much be because Scorpio is uh, not really all that shy and, and speaks up but you want to understand that because of Mars uh, you're going to want to put your best foot forward with this event and especially with the fact that there's been a stellium in Virgo you know with everybody being such a perfectionist again till November 8th that'll last for Sagittarius the archer the zodiac angel Nachiel Mercury and Scorpio uh, this is going to cause you to want to bring intelligence into your 12th house of spirituality, Sagittarius. So you're going to really want to look at the, the most hidden, esoteric things you can find to, to bring intelligence into the way you are expressing yourself spiritually. And this will be very exciting and it will bring much happiness and benevolence to you and the people you care about. All right, so this is going to be very helpful for you, Sagittarius. And your zodiac angel, Ednachiel, your teaching angel, will help you. And don't forget to inv invoke your guardian angel, Michael. For the sign of Capricorn, the goat, your zodiac angel, Hanael, during this Mercury and Gross Scorpio event, you're going to want to bring intelligence into your, the intelligence of Mercury and the benevolence of the light of Mercury into the 11th house of friends and reputation. You know, who are your friends and what kind of reputation you have. And you do have a good reputation, Capricorn. So what you want to do is bring as much intelligence about the intention of others and how, how they might actually have good intentions rather than evil intentions. And you want to figure out how that's possible. And when you figure out how that's possible, then benevolence occurs everywhere and the light goes on. And if you understand that heaven is understanding that everybody's telling the truth you just have to be or everything is true you just have to be intelligent enough to understand and Capricorn is intelligent and you have an instinctual intelligence so you can help with that and that will help you with your reputation among your friends in which you do have a good reputation okay for the sign of Aquarius the water bearer we have the zodiac angel Cambriel and with the Mercury Ingress Scorpio 
event. This brings intelligence into your 10th house of your social standing and your fame. So you're going to want to go up higher and you can use your intelligence to bring you to a higher status and to bring your fame and to be more well known to bring you out more to others you're gonna you want to know how you can do that and basically this is done by getting rid of contempt for those lower than you that doesn't mean you have to put them higher than you however it just means, you know, everybody has a different uh, affectation about, you know, how they want to present themselves. Some people don't want an affectation of being extremely famous or being extremely high class. Some people do, some people don't. Again, it's an affectation. So just understanding that will help because numbers are an affectation. Okay, now for the for the sign of Pisces, the fish, for the zodiac angel Amnitziel, we have the uh, Mercury Ingress Scorpio event affecting the ninth house of your life path meaning. So basically, this will bring a lot of knowing, a lot of intelligence to you, Pisces, about the meaning of your life, the deep meaning and the long-term meaning of your life they say it's a common phrase that the most important day is when you're born and the other most important day is when you find out why you were born sort of everybody has a piece of the puzzle everybody's important everybody has one piece of the puzzle that must be returned if we're all going to become immortal if we're all going to get everything we want everybody has to be included and has to be allowed to return their peace in the way that's comfortable to them and to place their peace into the grand puzzle because then everybody can have what they want and everybody wants something different so everybody can have what they want with the understanding that not everybody wants the same thing and because of that that's what makes it beautiful if everybody's the same it cannot work but if everybody being very different and very different like a fingerprint, then we have a situation where everybody can be important, yet everybody can have what they want, and not everybody's the same. So it works out very nicely. All right, thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Pastor Rosemary, Astrology Angel, and join us again next time.